cost of not addressing climate change, not addressing peak oil, are so many times bigger than the cost of implementing it today that it's just, I mean, it's hard to even imagine the future we would live in if we don't get going fast. The biggest problem is just getting people to realize you don't have to worry about the future because we have the solutions. We just have to implement them. We just have to get the political will and the public will to implement these solutions. And we have a, we have a good plan. We just have to implement it. Some of the biggest barriers to this clean energy future, clean energy economy, is just uh, people not understanding how possible it is. The potential is there today. A democracy relies on information, relies on accurate information, relies on the spread of information. And this has been one of the challenges of such, a, such large democracies, is making information available to the public, to society, that's useful. And I think this is where blogging has really stepped in. This is really an opportunity. We have a ton of people who need electricity in the world, and they're, they have the opportunity to leapfrog the mistakes we made in the past or the you know, overuse of fossil fuels we had in the past and uh, really dive into clean energy that's good for the environment but that's also good for their local economies, good for their communities, uh, good for their health. Decentralized and localized uh, community systems using smaller systems of solar and wind offer great community growth, economic growth, jobs for people around the world. And for all these people around the world, they can jump right into that, skip the problems of dirty, dirty energy, and have a lot of potential for economic growth in their communities and for a high quality of life.